Hello and welcome back to the workshop where we're taking a close look at Dapol's new B4040 tank for O-Gage. So Mike, the brand new B4 for O-Gage. Yeah, love the new addition from Dapple, and they've been here before actually. They did it in double O gauge pre previously, uh, modeled the lovely LSWR 040 tank, and it's now here in O gauge as well. Uh, and on the layout today, you've got one of the six versions that are coming out. So, who designed them and when were they built? Uh, right, so these were introduced by the London South Western Railway in 1891. Uh, a total of 25 of these were built, and they were used, well, they were introduced primarily for shunting and pilot work and also for use at docks as well. So, a very short wheelbase, which is perfect for dock railway systems, which tend to have very tight curves. They became really quite synonymous with Southampton docks. Uh, but then in the mid 1940s, when the well, late 1940s, it was 1947, I think it was when the uh, USA tanks started coming over from um, from America. Uh, these were then displaced and they started to become um, shed pilots instead. Uh, the last one would be, was withdrawn in 1963. So were any preserved? Uh, yeah, there's two of them still survive today. There's uh, Granville, which is based at the Bressingham Steam Museum, and there's number 96 Normandy, which is based on the Bluebell Railway as well. So let's delve into the model. Tell us a little bit about what we've got here from Dapple. All right, so as I said, this is uh, what, Dapple's second go at doing the B4. Obviously, first go in O-Gage, but they've been here before with the double O-Gage model. I think that was really well received when they did that. Um, really nice detailing on it, and actually that's definitely followed through into the O-Gage model. Um, if anything, actually, I think the O-Gage model is even nicer to look at. It's got some really nice fine details on it. Um, so you've got things like you've got the die-cast wheels with turn metal tyres on them. Um, you've got the really nice motion on it as well. Um, I love the fact that this one's got the uh, linseed filtrator on it as well, on top of the, uh, the boiler as well, which is a really nice little feature on that. Um, then got so many fit, separately fitted parts on this and I, I got a little bit overexcited about this, about some tiny details on it which probably for most people don't really mean very much but it's like if you look at it top down around the, the sandboxes you can see the lovely shaping of the actual uh, sandbox operating gear on them and even down to the shaping of the handles on top of the valves as well, they've all been really nicely done, uh, really nice little pieces on those. Um, inside the cab's fully detailed as well uh, and you've also got a working firebox glow in there as well which with uh, analog control it runs all the time and with DCC control it can be function controlled as well. I noticed that the wheels and the motion have been darkened as well which just yes. adds to the finesse. That's right yeah then you've got the sprung buffers on each end you've got sprung working three link of things on it as well uh, and you've also well it's just got, it's got everything it's the full package. It's, it's a delightful lovely little model. What about inside in terms of the running characteristics. Right, so you've got a five pole motor uh, in the heart of this locomotive which provides the drive to the uh, main running wheels and then you've also got space for a speaker in there as well because this has got one of uh, Dapple's you now what has become its standard uh, slide out PCBs in there as well so that slides out of the smoke box you take the smoke box door out slide the PCB out and you've got access to a 21 pin decoder socket in there and space for your speakers as well. Now if you don't feel up to fitting sound yourself to this model there are sound fitted versions as well, aren't there? That's right, yes. Yeah. So you can buy these DCC ready, DCC fitted, and DCC sound fitted from Dapple Stockists. So, how much and what about availability? Uh, right, so actually, they're all in stock now, and there's six different versions of the B4 available for O gauge from Dapple. And uh, prices start from £251 for the DCC ready versions and rise up to £388 for the DCC sound fitted model. Fantastic. Well, this is a wonderful thing. Thank you so much for watching our video today. You can read all the details in our latest review in HM194, that's the current issue of Hormley Magazine. Thank you for watching and bye for now. Introducing Key Model World, your new online destination for everything railway and scale modelling. Featuring exclusive videos and features, unseen images, step-by-step -step guides, railway history and the latest news. Plus, it's home to our full layout build series. I'm going to stop you right there though, because I didn't do this. This is all you're doing. Join us for the latest content from Key Publishing's modelling titles, Hornby Magazine and Airfix Model World. Sign up today for as little as £3.75 per month, or if you're a magazine subscriber, bolt Key Model World onto your subscription package now. For more details, visit keymodelworld.com.